HaKadosh Baruch Tov, we're just continuing with the halachot of Pesach. There was a minhag not to taste from the matzot until the first time that we're going to make a bracha on them, which is going to be the night of the seder. Now, Mina Din, technically, you're allowed to, and you're only prohibited, only going to be on the 14th of Nisan. There's going to be a machloket to do with the uh, night, meaning the night of Kal Hamira, the night of Bedikat Chametz, but for sure that the Isur is only going to be on the 14th. However, though, the Minhag is that you're not allowed, you, we didn't actually eat from the Matzot, already starting from Rosh Chodesh of Nisan, that means the first time that we're making a Bracha, the Matzot, was going to be the night of the Seder. So here he brings down a Rosh, the Rosh and Psachim brings down Yudushalmi, that he says that somebody's going to eat Matzah on Erev Pesach, Right? It's as if that he's living with his future wife right before the marriage. The marriage is the next day, which is going to be on Pesach. And now what he's doing is he's going beforehand and he's doing this. So he says the Rosh and that therefore he gets lashes. Says the Rosh, He says that's only from the time of Chametz onwards, which means even in the Shachrit of Erev Pesach, Mitzah you would have been able to eat the Matzah. So he says, and the reef also brings down this Yerushalmi. However, the other people want to say from the six hour onwards or not, okay. But then what happens is, is that there's going to be a question, what about the nighttime before, right? So then there's some people that wanted to say that the Ramah comes and he says, Matzah, you're going to be Yitzhak Chova in the nighttime. So you're not allowed to eat it the entire day of the 14th. That's what's brought down in the Ramah. The Magin Avram says that it's Mashma, that on the 13th you're permitted. And therefore, you could probably do it also on the night of the 14th, which means this year will come out on Thursday night. That Thursday night is, even though Thursday night is the 14th already, but since it's the night before, right, Erev Pesach, you should have been permitted. And that was also, so he says over here, it's going to be a sur. Because if he's going to say that only mashma on the 13th is permitted, so on the 14th would be prohibited. And that's also the psak of the Rav Pealim. The Ben Ishchai comes and he says that on the night of Bedikat Chametz, you're also not allowed to eat matzah. However, though, the Chok Yaakov and others want to say, and the Eliyar Abash, Luchan Rucharav, Chayadam, and others, they want to say, no, that on the night time it's still permitted to eat matzah. So on Thursday night, it would be permitted to eat matzah. The Shiurei Knesset Agdola, he comes and he says that there was no Agim Lachmir not to eat from Rosh Chodesh Nisan. And this is brought down in the Liyaraba, the Beretev, and others. So the Gaon Rabbi Yitzchak Chazan comes in his uh, Gadash Shel Pesach Dagdama, and he says that in South Morocco, the way that it used to be was, is that already from Erev Tzom Ta'anit Ester until Motzei Chag Pesach, they used to come and they used to start making all these matzot. And he says he still remembers that Yaldea Kfar, that the children of the villages they used to come and they used to accompany everyone to do the baking of the matzot. And he used to smell so good because they wanted to taste it. But he said that Minhag was, they had a Kabbalah in their hands, that they would never taste the matzah of the Pesach until Pesach itself. And that's also brought down in Etivot Amarav, the same thing, the first time that they come and they eat from the matzot, is the night of Pesach when we make the bracha of Allah Hila Matzah, that's when we're going to do it. So again, even though Mitzad Alacha, the only Isur is going to be Erev Pesach, which is the 14th of Pesach, there's a Machloket, if it starts from the night before, or is it only from, right, the morning of Erev Pesach. However, though, the Minhag was, is that the first time that we used to eat Matzot was only going to be from, on the actual night of Pesach, we wouldn't eat Matzot beforehand. So that's just the Minhag to do with eating Matzot before Pesach.